Mayor with Minister Harpower, uh, your first budget, how did it feel in there uh, standing up for the first time? You know, I had, of course, an opening uh, recognizing uh, the difficulties of this weekend, and it was extremely hard to do that and, and then to continue and stay on task. But I remembered the leadership back home and, and how they stepped up to the plate and they, they handled what was the task before them, and I needed to do the same. So um, once I was in my budget, it felt good. I feel very, very proud of this budget. It does keep us on track. We have a commitment to balance in three years, and we're on track to do that. But most importantly, it's without um, you know, huge impacts on our economy. This budget is, is much softer than the harder decisions that we had to make last year. The word that a few people were describing last year's budget to me today was brutal, that they felt that it was really a tough one. And I know that coming in, you had said in the Premier, challenging, difficult decisions. Why is this year's budget so different than last year's budget? Largely because some of the, you know, a lot of the measures that we took last year are working and bringing the, uh, the budget uh, towards balance in three years. Uh, the commitment was to have a shift of our dependency in this province on resource revenue because of the volatility of the resource revenue and how, you know, it has dipped and we don't see full recovery for some time. So we needed to do that shift. Measures were taken in the last budget. And uh, so this budget, quite frankly, we're seeing the benefits of those measures without having to go farther. You know, the theme of the budget is on track and each one of the, the news releases from the different ministries has on track in there somewhere. Uh, do you think that we can see a similar budget next year, that this will be a sign of things to come? Yeah, we're not totally out of the woods. I'm not uh, foolish enough to think so. But uh, I, I'm definitely more optimistic. The indications are that the economy is growing, which is going to help enormously because, as I said, the tough de decision measures that we made, uh, that is going to bring in more revenues from outside of resource revenue. As the economy grows, that will grow. And we really want to be able to sustain the health care, education and safety net programs we have in our province. Now, uh, earlier today you told us no, no layoffs um, in the, built into the budget related to the budget. That wasn't the case last year. Uh, where is the savings going to come? Because a huge expenditure, of course, of the government is salaries and public sector salaries there. So salaries is, a, you know, obviously a big proponent of our, of our, um, of our budget. So we're going to ask the ministries in each of the each of their various areas of whether or not there is efficiencies that may be and you know is there something they can do in the scheduling so that there's less overtime because we all know that we pay more for overtime is there senior management that's retiring and can we replace those positions with a lesser paid position perhaps um, you know is there attrition and and through uh, retirements and other ways that they can reorganized to find those efficiencies. I think by giving each of the different managers that flexibility within the envelope of their HR costs will help a lot more than just targeting people. Uh, I don't think targeting people is the answer. Some areas is going to be ground, you know, frontline service and they may not find any, but other areas I think we can do the backfill and find even more. Thanks for your time, Minister. Thank you so much.